Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in last video we have understood what is API. Okay, so in today's video we are going to see what is REST API. Okay, so you know REST API it basically stands for representational state transfer. Okay, and um, REST API basically follows a particular architecture in order to create a api now if we want to you know create a api then we also we need to follow rest api architecture okay so a api with rest api architecture is known as rest api or a rest pool api okay i hope this makes sense right now what are those rules and what rules are makes a rest api so there are four rules you need to keep in mind is first endpoint second method third header and fourth data data or uh, you can say body okay so first let us understand um, endpoints okay so here uh, url pattern means endpoint only okay so if you have you know worked with api or if you have opened any facebook developer website then you might seen that domain that developer.facebook.com okay so here some companies follows this type of uh, domain structure okay so here this has this shows that um www.api.any uh, current website you know dot com okay or a car rent.com whatever your company name is your website name is okay that will be contained over here so this shows that yeah this is a website for api okay so here this particular is known as your uh, website or a domain and this white part is known as your endpoint okay this car or this cars list or this car slash Zero, zero one zero zero this all these things are known as endpoints okay and this is known as domain okay i hope you got idea about endpoints right now here we are going to use um, this type of endpoint structure i will explain why i have created this type of endpoint structure okay so here by this cars or cars slash list means uh, i need all the list of cars okay so here android is id this is id okay and uh, this is just a endpoint and here it will contain all data okay and this both are endpoint for registration and login okay so why do we need this id when you want a single object okay at that time you need id to fetch that single object and every object has its own unique id okay so if you know concept of database then you will understand this okay and uh, yeah these are the endpoints and always try to keep your endpoints readable by other developers okay just don't mess with endpoints around okay just re keep it readable so everyone can understand and we will do this practice only and we are going to follow this type of structure okay and next is methods okay so there are four type of method get which is used to retrieve re resources or a uh, data then we have post which is used to create an object or a resource then we have put which is used to update a particular data and delete is used to delete a object okay and by combining this in technical world we we call this as crud okay you might be familiar with crud operations okay so here c means create which is also known as post request okay post method then here r means read which is also known as get method then we have um, u for update which is also known as put request and we have delete which is also known as delete and we call it delete method right so 
this is what CRUD operation stands for okay then here I would like to you know explain you one important concept okay see whenever you see URL something like this okay at that time we can perform you know get method or a post method because here we don't need any user ID or a object ID in order to perform these two actions okay but when we are having URL something like this this domain name okay and then this endpoint and here we have ID okay at that time we can perform get put and delete because see here we will get that particular object using get method okay then when we get that uh, ma uh, particular object at that time we can perform put method because that object already exists and it has uh, its own id okay so put method basically is used to update the data okay or you can update or uh, delete that data and using that id we can delete the object which we have fetched okay that's why we use this type of url system okay i hope you got idea about this okay then next we have headers so when we you know retrieve information or a resource from the api at that time we also get uh, some codes along with that uh, api so codes can be like if you got data successfully then it will say 200 okay which is used for get method okay and then when you create a new data then it will give you 201 created for post request and when you will you know type or a hit endpoint which do not exist in the system okay then it will give you 404 page not found right so like this there are plenty of uh, uh, http or uh, we can say header codes um, we will have separate video on that okay so don't worry about that i will teach you this code in detail uh, in upcoming videos okay so i hope you got idea about this rest api too and yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and in next video we are going to set up our um, project and we will see what software we need to uh, learn this django rest framework okay so i will see you there thank you